<laughs> or in my car. Let me turn it off so it will be more quiet. I have a little bit of backlight from there. Do I care? No. Here's the thing. I value my car so much. I would not trade my car for the world. I would not trade a car for the world. You know what I'm saying? Like, especially the car I have, I just got a new car. I talked about this already. The solitude that a car gives me. Like, this is my space. Like, nobody else is in this space. I can be as loud as I want to be in this space. I can cry if I want in this space. I can blast music in this space. I can fart in this space. I can eat in this space. I can do whatever I want in this space. And it's comfy and it's warm and it's lush. So, today I have to get ready. So I'm getting ready in my car because it's so comfy. <laughs> I love my car. And then I thought I would do like a car tour as well. Talk about my car. Here are the back seats. I'm so bad at filming. Hold on. Here's my back seat. Wow, back seat. Awesome. Um, I have the brown coffee interior. Here's my screen. People have like said it's like a Tesla screen, but I can't watch Netflix on it. This is basically my home screen. My car is a Subaru Outback Touring XT from 2020. Love it so much. Here's a door with my little ornament and my library card. Let me change the battery on this camera. I'm trying to find like a good angle without breaking my camera. What is this fuzz right here? What about this angle? That's pretty good. No, it's not. Oh, I can lower my steering wheel. That'll do it. Cool, let's get ready. I don't think I have any Q-tips for cleanup. I have three, that'll work. Love this car. It's very spec'd out. It's certified pre-owned from 2020. The original owner was from Michigan or something, so this is a northern car. It's got steering wheel heater, okay? Which, you're like, oh, you live in Florida, Ugh. It is a life changer, okay? Right now, it's about 55 degrees outside. Am I using it? Is it turned on? Yeah! It's got seat heater, seat cooler, like the little fan. Seat heater's in the back, dude. Trunk is huge, like huge, huge, which weird, but happy, okay? My horn, it kind of sounds like my car has a little bit of strep, but I'm into it, I am. Why do my cheekbones look so shiny right now? Apple CarPlay, Bluetooth, you know, the whole deal. It's got this like wooden, wooden trim detail to it. And that's a little phone holder thing for the passenger. It's really cute. Oh, there's like a scanner bar. This bar right here is a camera like laser thing. There's like a red dot that comes up right there when I get in my car. It'll scan my face and it'll see that it's me and open my profile. It'll open my profile in the car so it'll adjust my seat. And if I had my seat heater on last time, it'll turn on the seat heater. It'll turn on the steering wheel heater. Like if it knows it's me, it'll adjust to my profile, which is crazy. Like kind of feels like really irobot isk but I'm into it. It also will sense my eyes while I'm driving, so if I'm like looking off like this, it'll beep at me and be like, eyes on the road, <laughs> and put up a sign on my dash and on the freaking screen. It'll also, if I'm at a red light and the car in front of me moves and I don't, it'll be like, beep, car in front of you is moved, which is cool. Cause like I thought only Tesla's had that. If I am looking down at my phone and there's like traffic moving around me, it'll like beat at me and go beep, 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 like stay alert. It's a little bit dramatic, but honestly, it's making me a better driver. It is because sometimes I'm like, I don't realize how much I'm not paying attention forward, you know? Cause I'll be like looking off to the side and stuff and it's beeping at me. I'm like, okay, sorry. My goal right now is to not get any mascara on my lid. Oh, this is really hard. Do you guys do Secret Santa in your offices if you guys work? Cause every year my office does Secret Santa. Me and my coworkers, And it's really fun and it's really cute. This year we did it different though. Like usually we fill out a sheet of paper that says like our favorite things, our favorite snacks, our favorite scents and stuff we do not like or we're allergic to and stuff. This year we did it online. And so you're supposed to make a wish list from Amazon. My person that I got for Secret Santa did not fill theirs out. Oh my gosh. And it's like a person that is part of our team but is not always in the office. So I don't freaking know them. Like I don't know what they like. I don't know. It's been hard, but I got, I got them cute stuff. Also, nobody really talks about the fact that office interactions during the holidays and like when you do stuff as a team is literally like the office, like the show where everything's kind of awkward, but like super still comfy and like super, but like, you know, it's literally like that. I remember the first year we, I was working at that office. We did secret Santa and we do like a breakfast thing. And then we exchange gifts and we all stand in a circle or like, like our lobby, whatever sit or stand or whatever and then each person goes like one by one and then we open it in front of everybody <laughs> dude i was dying of secondhand embarrassment i was dying of firsthand embarrassment i'm very like i'm weird about receiving gifts like i don't want you to watch me open it and it's not because i'm like i'm probably gonna hate it but it's because i feel like i have to put on a performance unless it's like really good and i really love it and i don't want to put on a performance because i like being honest so if i hate it 
I usually don't hate it because I just even like that you thought about me. But in our office, it, dude, <laughs> there's like this, there's like the one coworker who's super like, yay, oh my gosh. And then you're like, and then there's the one coworker who's like, literally like, can we get this over with? And then there's the one coworker who's like super awkward and like, <laughs> and then there's the one coworker who's like super like laughing at everybody, which is usually me. I'm just like looking to where the camera is. You know what I'm saying? It's so hilarious. It's so hilarious. I didn't think The Office was funny. I never watched the entire show. I think I watched like half a season of it, but it's crazy. Like the first time I was in an office setting like that for the holidays, I was like, this is literally like an episode of The Office. Like I thought The Office was just a dramatized version of like office life. No. It's very real. I'm actually doing a great job at not getting stuff on my lids. Um, what else? Oh, I really wanted to talk about the public library. Why does nobody talk about the public library? Okay, recently found out if you have a library card, there's this app called Libby, non sponsored which is basically like you get every single version of the book, but online. So you can download like ebook, like borrow it and it'll be on the app or they have audiobooks. I've been trying to get into audiobooks more because I'm trying to like read more, but I don't have physical time to sit and read. I'm on the road a lot of the times or I'm like working out and stuff like that. I just plowed through an entire book in three days just by listening. Like when I take a morning walk or run and stuff like that, I'll just listen to an hour and a half, two hours of a book on 1.5 speed because I really can't keep up. They read so slow, but on 1.5 speed, I can keep up perfectly and it's super awesome. Like literally luxury. It's crazy. I didn't, I didn't know. It's all free. Library card free. Why does nobody talk about the freaking library? I feel like what the heck was I doing before? I had a library card. I had a library card and I just didn't know. I like the idea of a library, like, oh, go like borrow a book. There's an app for this, didn't know. And you can have multiple library cards. So like you can go to like your city and then like the neighboring city and the next county and like whatever. And you can have like library, a bunch of library cards on your Libby app. And you could just like have every single freaking book to your disposal. What bro, what? And then the best part, I am pretty sure I'm getting a Kindle for Christmas and I'm really excited because I have kind of transferred from like, I need physical books because I like the memories and I like highlighting and I love keeping and to, I just want to read books, you know, like I'm just not that concerned right now with building my library. Like I'll have a running list of books that I have read because I track that on my Goodreads, but I'm not to caring right now about physical books and having that stuff. So then I found out you can connect your Libby app to your Kindle. And then when you like download a book, you can read it on your Kindle. I always thought Kindle, you had to like buy the device, buy a subscription thing, and then buy books. Like I really thought that was the Kindle situation. I never really looked into it. I just lazily assumed. Dude, I'm about to plow through books. I'm about to read through the entire earth. Granted, with listening to audiobooks, it's kind of like, mm, because whoever's narrating it, you get their voice as the character. And like, I have a very distinguished voice that does not cringe me out for characters when I read myself in the in like inside here. So I have been reading more like author narrated books or like I just finished um, I'm glad my mom died by Jeanette McCurdy good book right now I'm listening to one more time with feeling or something and I'm gonna start listening to my like psychology books instead of like fantasy books because that stuff I do want to read and I'll probably read it on my Kindle even though I own a bunch of fantasy books I haven't read through yet so like the stuff that I know is really like important to care about and like nurture it myself I'll read it but audiobooks go crazy dude why am I just now figuring this out why am I just now understanding how this works and Apple CarPlay is compatible with Libby so I downloaded Libby and it's literally on my home screen on my car it's like Spotify to where you just click on it and you play your book it's crazy why does nobody talk about this we're sleeping on public libraries why are we sleeping on this so hard probably because of consumerism but whatever got my mascara done and like got maybe one dot on my lid sad news guys my eyebrow brush it completely pushed in and I have to throw it out but I'm keeping it because of the spoolie but I've been using this like eyebrow pencil from elf that's like it's literally I think a dollar because I need to get a new eyebrow brush and I've had this as backup and good thing I had that as backup Dude, okay, Game of Thrones spoilers right now. My bad if you haven't seen it. It's also been out for years. I'm the last one to freaking watch it, so I don't really care. I'm on season three. Freaking that wedding. I think, I'm gonna be honest, I heard about something called the Red Wedding or something. Was it Red Wedding or something? And I knew at some point during a wedding, like a lot of people got killed. from Because it's just social media talk about Game of Thrones. I didn't know it was gonna be that wedding. And like, maybe it's not, but like, what, bro? Rob Stark, my favorite... He is so fine, bro. And his wife, who was pregnant, and his mom, bro. I literally, like, gasped so hard, and I sat up, and I was like, F that old guy, dude. F that perverted, inbred 
old guy. I don't even know his name. I freaking hate his guts. I literally want him to get tortured like um, Theon Greyjoy is getting tortured right now by that freaking weird sadistic kid. This tight spoolie though is so much better than a poofy like triangle looking spoolie. This does a lot more work with less effort than this type of spoolie does. Also, is there a flavor of like sparkling water or seltzer or juice that you guys gravitate towards. A friend of mine was just talking to me about how like she won't drink anything unless it's pineapple, like a pineapple seltzer, pineapple white claw, pineapple sparkling water, anything like that. And I was thinking like, what's mine? Mine is grapefruit. Didn't know that about myself. Now I know. I feel so bad for Theon, bro. He got his penis chopped off. But also there was a time where I was like, I want this guy to get tortured and die so bad, you know? But now that it's happening, I'm like, ooh, I feel bad. Just because he's like literally getting neutered and like mutilated and stuff like it's really rough I think I'm done and I'm gonna should I fix my hair? It's just poofy today like really poofy. Okay done getting ready I think I'm gonna film more in my car because I absolutely love it. That was so comfy and warm and happy um, I'm going to plow through audiobooks and then I'm gonna do reviews So I think I'm going to review I'm glad my mom died by Jeanette McCurdy for next week or something mm -hmm.